Hey guys, it's Nikki, and this is the very, very last of my World at War gameplay. Got this from the depths of my hard drive, and this is the car once again with a bayonet. I didn't plan on posting this gameplay, so I played a little bit like an idiot for part of this game, so that's why some parts are cut out. But I did manage to pull my entire team, even though we lost at the end. And there's some pretty nice shots in here, too. Anyway, like I said, haven't been posting very much in the month of October on Stealth Shampoo, because life just hasn't been being very nice to me. I've had a pretty bad past three weeks. Which is going to turn around because Assassin's Creed 3 is coming out at the end of the month, Black Ops 2, that's got me really excited. But my whole month so far just hasn't been so well. Like the other day, the parking brake on my car broke. That was a pretty easy fix, but someone stole my iPod and my five page English essay too. And the iPod I can understand, but why did you steal my five page essay, dude? That thing has my name on it and all that stuff. And typically, you know, I'm a really chill person, so stuff like this doesn't really make me mad. It is frustrating, I'm going to admit, but outside of the video game atmosphere, I don't really get mad at things. Of course, I'm going to shout my lungs out when I play Modern Warfare 3 and get killed by Dead Man's Hand. But other than that, I feel like I'm a pretty chill person. And even though this past week has been really bad for me, or not even past week, past three weeks have been pretty bad for me, I feel like I can bounce back because my resiliency is pretty high. I have some pretty supportive friends and family and stuff. But I just overall don't get mad and things like driving stupid drivers even though I might be a stupid driver myself I don't get mad driving I don't get mad at doing my homework or getting work overload I don't get like stress anxiety really chill person and I want to concentrate more on the things that have been awesome in these past three weeks rather than just sitting here complaining that someone strangely took my five page essay they probably ended up making paper airplanes out of it or something because it wasn't even a very good essay in the first place anyway what have I done in the past three weeks this has been awesome went to see Florence and the Machine two weeks ago and that was absolutely incredible. If there's one thing you need to do before you die, it's go to a music concert. And make sure it's a band that you really, really like. Because the first concert I ever went to was an American Idol concert. That was the season where they had two Davids, David Archuleta and David Cook. And I just went for the sake of going to a concert and knowing what the experience was like. But I didn't really enjoy the music that much. I don't watch American Idol or X Factor. I overall don't watch TV at all. So... I didn't enjoy that concert to the amount that I could have, but I highly recommend Before You Die, or While You're Still Young, or whenever, because you could die at any moment. That's a depressing thought, but sometime in your life, if you haven't already, you definitely have to go to a concert to a band you really, really like, because I won tickets to go see Florence and the Machine over the radio, because my timing was really, really good. I managed to get a gauge, you had to be caller number 10. After they repeated the phone number one time, five people already called in, after they repeated it twice, Nine people called in, so I was the tenth one, and I got really lucky on that, so that was awesome. Went to see Florence the Machine. Absolutely love them if you haven't heard my other commentaries about Florence. Her voice is just out of this world, and it's like her musical lyrics, it's just mind-blowing. So definitely go see a band that you like. I also got to go see Google, because my uncle works over at Google. Not the YouTube section of Google, but he's like security. I'm not going to talk too much about that, but Google is freaking crazy. They have a dinosaur with pink flamingos on it for no reason. It's just sitting there. They have weird contraptions of like balls rolling around and a Nerf gun armory. There are Nerf guns just sitting in the offices everywhere. They have like unlimited food and drinks and that's pretty awesome. One day I want to grow up and maybe work somewhere that is that cool. But over the past three weeks, those are pretty much the only two notably cool things that happened to me. Uh, other crazy stupid things have happened to me like I hit my head on a CD tray and that was like the scar on the right side of my forehead wall bag hit marker and that's pretty much the end of the video let's just a quick update on what I'm doing and some bolt action gameplay because Black Ops 2 is gonna have the ballista which is an unscoped sniper rifle that's gonna be awesome I'm really excited about that other than that thank you guys for watching too. my older videos on the screen excited for Black Ops 2 I hope this car gameplay was entertaining and I'll see you all some of the time hey, as she texts me like hey Come over to the park, and if you're not here within 20 minutes, I'm going to hang myself in this tree. And right now, we're switching over to some World at War gameplay. I'm on round 125, and I'm about to pull out something that's super clutch. Fuck, we're taking fire. Four shot. Ryan, locate him. I'm going to keep there him. There he is, there he is. Okay. See him? He's right to the left. He's shooting me. Tim, we're baiting him. We're baiting him. We need you to take him out now. 